It seems the obituary on Volkswagen's top-of-the-range Phaeton was written too soon. Critics predicted an early demise as soon as it was launched in 2002, but it's still going strong. And now the big VW has undergone a revamp. Because the Phaeton sells well outside of Germany, its maker held the international press launch in China. There's a good reason for that. VW is hoping for a good slice of the rapidly growing Chinese automobile market. Car tester Reinhold Deisenhofer points out the pneumatic suspension, which comes as standard in the new Phaeton. But he says the extensive safety features and driving aids are a big plus, too. Those assists are supported by radar systems and a camera in the upper part of the windscreen. Volkswagen's Robert Schmidt Hebel explains how the camera reads the traffic signs at the side of the road or over the highway. The information is then shown on the sat nav display or on the dashboard. That includes speed limits or additional information, such as temporary restrictions. In addition to that, it also shows overtaking bans, so the driver gets an overview of the rules currently in force. The front of the car corresponds to VW's new corporate look. The combination of polished and matte chrome underlines the high-quality manufacturing. The lighting includes refinements, like swiveling headlights as standard and intelligent high-beam control. The VW man says the high beam is on all the time, but it is masked. That means it's shaded from the drivers in front so they are not dazzled. But the driver of the car has the full high beam at its disposal, so he can see what's around him. The rear lights are fitted with state-of-the-art LED technology. The interior is generous in size and quality. VW has concentrated on high-grade materials with excellent workmanship. The cabin area is clearly arranged and all the instruments are easy to use. And they've come up with a pioneering sat-nav feature. Schmidt Hebel notes the inclusion of an internet connection in the car. It uses a server from Volkswagen to download Google Maps and applies that to the navigation system. It also includes a point of interest search function. That means that if the driver is looking for a restaurant while on the road, or even a dentist, then they can do that online. They're provided with an address that the navigation system can locate, plus a telephone number. The information is transferred into the navigation or the telephone system simply by pressing a button. As would be expected in a luxury sedan, there is plenty of space. And there is also an extended model available. That comes with 12 extra centimeters on the wheelbase, which is noticeable in the rear footroom. The Phaeton comes with a choice of four engines, three petrol, one diesel, with either six, eight, or 12 cylinders. We tested the smaller six-cylinder version, which occasionally seems challenged by the 2.2 tons of weight it has to move. But all in all, the new Phaeton makes a positive impression on our test driver. He says the new Phaeton competes with the 7 Series BMW and the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And with its pneumatic suspension and luxury fittings, it is a real top-of-the-range alternative. In Germany, the Phaeton starts at 66,500 euros for the diesel and 71,800 euros for the smaller petrol engine. That makes it 10% cheaper than the competition from Mercedes and BMW, with little difference in quality.